Hey guys, and welcome to Tea Time for Lent 2018, episode 5. We are at the end of the fourth week of Lent, fourth full week of Lent, and we are in the middle of the sub-series about the three pillars of Lent. And so today it is on our agenda to talk about almsgiving, very exciting. So um, just real quick before we get into the nitty gritty on that, wanted to check in with you and see how your Lent is going. I would say mine is going pretty to very well. Um, yeah, I would say so. You know, there's always ups and downs with regards to Lenten, your personal Lenten resolutions <laughs> as to how good you're sticking to those. Um, but on the whole, doing very well. And with regards to things that I've added in, the devotionals that I've been reading, they have really been wonderful. Um, I've been getting a lot out of those and uh, keeping up with those. And I think in the future, I will definitely be interested in doing that again, both for myself and with Henry. Um, I, that's been a nice addition to our nighttime routine, Henry and I. And for myself, um, I also ended up I've been using the Magnificat Lenten Companion on my Kindle, and I use that in the morning. I like it very well. I've also been using, after I recorded my episode on Lenten resolutions and the things that I was doing, I decided to download the Blessed Is She Lenten Journal for 2018. In the past, I've tried print journals, and I just don't keep up with them very well. This time, I tried the digital download, and even though then I don't journal, physically journal, it has worked out wonderfully. I, I will say I will do this again. The journal is spectacular. The readings in it are wonderful and I've been getting so much from it. I've been incorporating that into my evenings. And so even though I don't put it, pull in that uh, physical writing element, just the text that they provide is so thought provoking and beautiful. And I will definitely be using this model again. I've been getting a lot out of it. So Lent is going, um, strong. I've been seeing lots of spiritual fruit. I'm scheduled to go to the Sacrament of Reconciliation next week. I like to get there during Lent. And next week is spring break here where I work and I'm not teaching um, in the afternoons on the day that the kids' school parish offers confession, so I'll be able to go then. I'm definitely looking forward to that. So that's that. How is it going for you? So today, almsgiving. So I've pulled up once again our friends, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. They have a page on almsgiving. And here is what they tell us, because this is the, the Lenten pillar that I know the least about for sure. The foundational call of Christians to charity is a frequent theme of the Gospels. During Lent, we are asked to focus more intently on almsgiving, which means donating money or goods to the poor and performing other acts of charity. As one of the three pillars of Lenten practice, almsgiving is a witness to fraternal charity and a work of justice pleasing to God. Um, points out there are several special opportunities for almsgiving through donations to church ministries for which collections are conducted during the Lenten season. They list several. So if you get envelopes through your parish, then you'll have envelopes for these um, specific ministries. Many dioceses hold special appeals for local needs during Lent, and there are countless other ways to offer your time, talent, and treasure to needy individuals and organizations during Lent and throughout the year. For ideas, contact your diocesan social concerns office or your local Catholic Charities affiliate. Catholic Charities um, is big here in Western New York. The kids' school has been having a fundraiser that we've been participating in. Um, where the kids have a dress down day once a week and you donate money for them to be able to do that. Um, I do get the envelopes and all that, so I can donate in that way. Um, and so absolutely, there's um, we are called to give uh, generously of our income towards the needs of those who, um, who are in need of that. And that is certainly an important part of Lent. I had been thinking about the fact that given that I gave up wine, that you know, not buying wine on a weekly basis is certainly saving us a little bit of money. And um, I'm thinking of taking, I mean, I haven't been calculating exactly how much that would be. I'll probably end up doing an estimation towards the end of Lent. And what I'm thinking about doing is donating it to a cause that one of my colleagues has been collecting for. Um, she has uh, some close relationships with colleagues in Ghana. And one of the causes they're close to her heart because um, her daughter is legally blind. 
is that um, they're collecting money in Ghana for um, for students that have vision impairments and they just are lacking so much equipment and, um, and braille and, and other types of things that would be just so beneficial in schools for those children to be able to learn. And so she's collecting to be able to send some supplies to her friends there to donate to that cause. And so, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll give that money to her um, for that um, specific ministry. So. Uh, yeah, so that's one way, you know, if you've given up something that's food or, uh, you know, something that then you're not purchasing during lunch, you can decide how much money you think that is and then donate that to a specific ministry, as well as just increasing your financial donations to other ministries during the Lenten season via your parish, coll parish collections or in other ways. Um, the other thing that I think about, and this article mentions this as well, um, in terms of all these giving, is giving of your time and your talents. So I've been thinking lately that as an introvert, I tend to like to be at home with my husband um, and my kids. And like the outside world, ever since I was a child, has been big and scary to me. And to be honest with you, in many ways, although I've become a lot more social, um, as I've gotten older, it's still something that I struggle with a little bit. Uh, I mean, I, it's not that I do poorly at it, I hope, but I just find it, it, it is very draining for me um, to put myself out there like that. And so sometimes I find myself withdrawing a little bit more. Um, you know, there are certain things that I'm committed to doing on a weekly basis uh, in terms of being out and about around other people. But besides those things, sometimes I don't challenge myself to to be out there um, doing other things. And so I've been challenging myself a little bit this Lent to be more proactive in that regard. So for instance, I got an email yesterday from my kids' school that they're having a spring open house and that they really need parents to volunteer to come and participate in the tours for families who are looking at the school. They pair you up with um, one of the junior high aged kids who are very well trained on getting around the school, where everything is, who to ask different questions to, because, you know, as a full-time work outside the home mom, I'm not in the school all that often. And so I feel a little adrift because I've volunteered in the past, but it's been a number of years um, for the winter open house during Catholic Schools Week. And I haven't since just because I was so intimidated by that experience. But I thought to myself, well, the, the date works out well for me. It's a Thursday evening. I don't have anything going on else going on that night and so I should volunteer and so I did and I got a very nice response from the vice principal um, very warm and welcoming it, it made me feel immediately good that I did that and so I think Lent is a time to really give of ourselves in those types of ways ways that you can volunteer um, ways that you can get more involved and so I'm a regular contributor at Catholic Mom and you know, I have a monthly commitment there where I write a short piece and I've been very happy um, in that role. And I thought to myself last night, I wonder if there's a way for me to get more involved with Catholic Mom. You know, I could look for, um, you know, sometimes they need book reviews written. So I'm just gonna keep my eye open for those types of opportunities. I see that Catholic Mom is having a book club. It's actually starting on St. Patrick's Day. So coming up right here. Um, and it's a book about waiting and God's timing. So I'm thinking, even though obviously I've always got a hundred million books in my queue, I'm thinking about maybe downloading that book. It's not very long, I think 160 some pages, um, and participating in that because, you know, it's not like I'm taking on any kind of a role, like structured role, but just sometimes commenting on those posts and getting more people involved is a really positive thing for that ministry. So. Those are my thoughts on almsgiving. I'm just, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to find ways to, to give of my time in positive ways. What are your ideas on almsgiving? How is your Lent going? I'm looking forward to talking to you all next week. I'm not sure what our theme will be, but it's obviously it's going to be related to Lent. It might be related to Holy Week. So I'm looking forward to talking to you then. Bye.